If you're in New York City and you are getting creamed from a rental property ownership standpoint, we're talking lower returns, higher acquisition costs, the government crawling down your butt. Watch this show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holden Wise TV. Subscribe to this some bitch if you want to learn how to invest in real estate. If you want to see what real real estate investors do. And if you want access to deals and my assistance. And especially if you live in New York City and you are getting creamed by the government. You're getting creamed. By high housing prices, you're getting creamed by low rental property returns, right? If that's you, you're an awful lot like my dude, Augie. Augie, you're an investor, and you're sick of that crap, man. Rent control, Jesus. It's artificially screwing everything up. The pricing's insane. How are rental property investors who live in New York supposed to make a return on their money? It's... It's almost impossible, which is why you, Augie, you hooked up with Holton Wise, because what we do is we help people like you, people all around the world, invest in real estate that makes sense, invest in low-cost real estate, invest in real estate in markets where you can get a return for your money, markets where you can get into properties for 25 k sometimes less, invest in markets without rent control invest in markets where when your deadbeat tenant decides not to pay rent you could actually kick that some bitch out your house in a reasonable amount of time and that's what i do that's what i'm doing for you augie so if you're another investor out there in new york and this sounds appealing to you shoot my team an email sales at holdenlice.com Give us your phone number, man. We'll give you a call. We'll talk to you about the process. Talk to you about how you can get your own set of custom videos just like this one for my man, Augie. Now, Augie, I got a cash flow and duplex for you, brother. This duplex is only going to require $25,000 of your cash. And we are going to do a deep dive into the property, the neighborhood, the numbers, the pros, the cons after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers, okay? Let's get into the numbers, right? That's what you're all here for. You are here for the numbers. You are here for the transparency, right? Let me fix this here so I can see it better. Okay, there we go. 2187 West 104th Street, Cleveland, 44102. It's been on the market for 11 days. The price is $105,000. Let's see what the listing agent has to say about this property. And then, of course, I will give you my thoughts on it. Great investment opportunity close to Lakewood. Now, stop there. Lakewood, right? Lakewood's a selling feature because Lakewood is an incredibly high demand rental property neighborhood, okay? But truth be told, it's just fluff. It doesn't it doesn't matter to this property, right? Nobody is moving to this property because it's proximity to Lakewood. If somebody wants to live in Lakewood, they're just going to go live in Lakewood, okay? This is what we do here on this show. I, I filter through the fluff, right? Give you the info you need and get rid of the crap you don't, right? Because this listing agent, they're doing their job. Their job is to sell this property for this seller. My job is to make sure you get all the info you need to make an informed investment decision. This is an up-down duplex. Top unit has two bedrooms with an additional finished third floor that could be used for a third bedroom or rec room. Bathroom has been recently updated. Natural hardwood floors throughout. Top unit is currently empty. Rent was $700. Lower unit has two bedrooms and one bath. Currently tenant occupied. They are getting $550, but buyer could raise the rents to $7. Now, here's the cool thing, right? 
Uh, when you get me, you get all the detail, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? <clears throat> now, previously, right, this particular agent, they're trying to sell it, right? So they're talking to you about it's close to Lakewood, like that's the selling feature. It's really not, right? But it's double-edged swords. It goes both ways, right? Now they're telling you uh, that you could probably get the rent all the way up to 700 right? Well, here's the thing, folks. Most real estate agents, they're not rental property agents, okay? Most real estate agents assist people buy and sell homes that they're going to live in, right? So typically an agent throughout their career, they're doing like 98% owner-occupied stuff, right? Hey, Mr. Realtor, Mrs. Realtor, my family, we want to move to this house. Okay, great. Let me drive you around. Let me show you houses. Let's talk about the drapes. Let's talk about the carpet. Let's talk about the backyard. Do you love it? Do you not love it? Let's put in an offer, right? That's their job. They don't deal with the rental stuff, but that's all we do at Holton Wise, right? So you get agents that might not understand the market as well. I love this one, right? They're trying to sell it, but they actually lowballed themselves, right? The rent, the market rent, not actually seven, seven fifty all day. Basement provides washer and dryer hookups for each unit with separate utilities. That's great for each unit. Two car detached garage. Don't miss this investment opportunity. Uh, the wheelchair lift is not included. The lower tenant owns it, right? So just so you guys know, right, like uh, w when you get like disabled folks into your, your units, right, like if you had a disabled person uh, or somebody like was living in the unit, let's say they weren't disabled, okay, everything is fine with their health and they become disabled and they needed a wheelchair ramp, right? Here in Ohio, you as a landlord would not be required to buy them a wheelchair ramp, right? You would just need to provide them reasonable accommodation, right? So in this situation, a uh, person ends up needing a wheelchair ramp or in this case, a wheelchair lift, right? So you as the landlord, you don't have to pay for that, but you do have to allow them to pay for it, right? Just so, uh, you know, you guys understand the laws, right? So solid Cleveland duplex, man, solid Cleveland duplex. The neighborhood, I know they were talking about Lakewood, but it's like a blue-collar neighborhood, right? Like, it's like a low-C grade neighborhood, right? It's high D, low-C, mid-C, splitting hairs, man. It's like a C-grade neighborhood. Your probably best bet is to play Section 8 tenants in these units, right? Because neighborhoods like this, the tenant base is totally manageable. But, like, you know, what you run into is, you know, they lose their job, their car breaks down, this or that, and they have issues paying rent, and then you got a victim, right? That's, like, the biggest concern. So, in my opinion, when you're in these types of neighborhoods, you make the most money. When you just skip all that crap, go with Section 8, right? You get the biggest, widest audience. There's, like, freaking lines of Section 8 tenants in the Cleveland market, and your rent is guaranteed by the government, that, in my opinion, is the best way to do it, right? But just classic Cleveland duplex, okay? This vacant unit doesn't really look like it requires much, but I'm just going off of the pictures here. I'm sure if we got inside of it, uh, you know, my team's going to find issues that they want to correct before uh, we place a tenant. Prior to that, you're going to want to get a third-party home inspection, right? You're going to want to do your due diligence, right? Because we don't have any information on the hot water tanks, the roofs, the furnaces, right? But I'm going to let you know. Ain't none of them are going to be new. Don't buy this thinking, oh, they must be new. And if they're not new, you think you get a discount on the price. Now, if they were new, they'd be talking about it. If they were new, they'd probably be asking for more money. I'm sure your hot water tanks, your roof, and your furnaces are probably mid to end of life, right? Meaning there's probably 5 to 15 years of life left on each of them. Just so you're aware, roofs like this, seven grand, approximately last 30 years. Furnaces, they last approximately 30 years, cost about three grand to replace. Hot water tanks last about 15. They cost about $1,000, right? So that's the property. Neighborhood, I like it, but I like it for Section 8, right? Currently, the one unit's vacant, looks pretty rent ready. Again, you're going to do an inspection. We'll have to check things out after that. And then uh, if you purchase it after that, my team will do a rent ready bid. Right now, I don't see anything like major, but again, I'm just looking at pictures. It doesn't look like it needs a major rental or anything of that nature, but we'll have to see what comes up after the inspection. They have the other unit with a tenant in there at $550. That is way below market rent. These are both $750 units. So for the long term, what you're looking at is $1,500 a month, eighteen k for the year. eighteen k comes in. You have to add in your fixed and variable expense estimates, right? You don't get to keep all eighteen k. That's not practical, right? You have to be pragmatic here. You have to understand there's going to be costs to run a rental property. This is what an average breakdown 
on an annualized basis should look like approximately, right? So in real world, I expect you to be pulling in an NOI of around 8,832. As far as price goes, 105 is what they're asking. I say we give it to them because there are multiple offers on properties like this. All the time here in the Cleveland market, this property, even with the older furnaces, older hot water tanks, older roof, is worth 105k. If you don't want to pay 105k, you can make a lower bid, of course, but I don't think it's likely that you will pick this up, right? So if you pick it up at 105k, that would require a down payment of 26,250. We'll get the bank to kick in 78,750 on a 30-year fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible note. The fact that you can get that type of financing, folks, that's why real estate is so freaking sweet. You can't start a bar. You can't start a tattoo shop. You can't start a barber shop. You can't start a fucking, I don't know, a fucking goat yoga class, whatever the fuck you want to do. You can't start these businesses and get somebody to give you 75% of the money over 30 years. Can't do it, but you can do it in real estate. Which is why this, over the long haul, should pencil out to be roughly a 19% return on your money. Let me know what you want to do. I dig this deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.